Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Keynote. It is uh, kind of like PowerPoint for the Mac, uh, but you can also get it for Windows if you uh, kind of work around it. But anyways, I'm going to show you a beginner Keynote tutorial on how to get started with your first presentation. When you first open Keynote, it's going to give you this option here. When you go to File, New, it's going to say Theme Chooser, and you have a lot of options here. You have your white, black, gradient, showroom, retro, and all kinds of good stuff that they give you to begin with here. They're there's a uh, plethora of options that you have here to select from, but I'm going to go ahead just for the purposes of this tutorial and choose Showroom there just because I like that one. Once you choose your theme, this is what's going to be uh, the basis and what the whole slideshow will be based on will be this theme. So if you choose black, obviously the, whole, the backgrounds for all of your slides will be black. So here is the uh, interface for Keynote, and in this tutorial, I am just going to go over the basic tools that you can use within Keynote, and then uh, after that I will go forward and do some more videos so let's go ahead and get started and let me show you some of these basic tools that you can use so first you started out here with a blank slide and uh, it says double click to edit here and that's where your text can go but I'm going to show you uh, some a uh, few tools first to begin with so obviously the text you can double click here and uh, type in uh, some text here so tech guru guru 77 uh, and then you can go here and type a tagline you know so so I'm gonna type in making your technology life easier one video at a time so go ahead and you can type in some text there now there is a text box uh, you can add text to it by going and clicking on the text box tool tool which is right here so you click on that and it'll automatically have some text in here and this will allow you to do it now keynote so kindly uh, puts in a um, some grid lines here within the uh, the application that will show you when something is centered so as you you see my text here it's now centered just like this and I can go to the center of the slide and now both lines are aligned and now I'm right in the center of the slide so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that text box if you want to add the text box you can go up here to add text box to this slide now let's say you want to add some cool shapes to your slide all you got to do is go to the shape uh, bar up here and I want a nice little arrow right here and uh, the arrow that I just put in was right here so I got the arrow here you can change and edit all of the arrow um, points of the arrow so you can go up here and make it a little bigger let's go ahead and make it six points thick uh, you can make it a dotted line just like that you can go and change the endpoints to like a circle or you can make it a square whatever you want I'm gonna keep the arrow here uh, you can go up here and change the uh, direction and put some on the bottom uh, opacity will make it kind of less uh, apparent on the screen I'm gonna leave that hundred uh, percent shadow I love adding shadows to stuff it makes stuff looks this stuff just looks so much better and you can even add a little reflection to it kind of like that but I'm not going to do that so that's how you add shapes uh, now you may be asking how do I add a new slide I'm about to show you all you have to do is go to insert okay that is not at all what you want to do you want to go to slide new slide so once I create a new slide this comes up automatically because of the theme that I did create so this is an image here so that's how you create a new slide just like that now let's say I want to add a table to this slide here and uh, that could be something that you definitely want to do oops I opened iCal there uh, so if you want to add a slide or I'm sorry excuse me a table to your uh, slideshow you click up here to the table and it will automatically go into it, uh, the slide, just the presentation, just like this. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, bring it down here. Now you have a table that you can format. As you see, once you click on it, the table formatting uh, information comes up here, and you can go here and you can add rows. You can take rows away. You can add columns, just like so, and you can take columns away. Uh, you can edit rows and columns. You can sort them by ascending, descending. You can change the width and height of the uh, the the table. You can also change the shading information here so all of that can be done within the table editing box and all you have to do to get that is just go up to the table here and click on the table uh, tool there you want to add some charts everybody needs charts to your slideshow so if you're doing some percentages go ahead and add a new slide here so I want to add a chart to my slideshow here in Keynote all I have to do is go to charts and you have a all kinds of charts you can add I'm gonna add a nice little 3d 
bar chart here and up here this will come up just like this and uh, it'll show you 2007 it kind of adds information but once you uh, have the information that you want on it you can actually go in here and you can edit it just how you want how you want it so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that picture out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and show you just this what the chart is here so once you got your chart added to uh, your keynote presentation you can go up here and change the numbers around however you want them to be and as soon as you change the numbers if you watch the chart carefully it will change with the numbers that you use there you can also change the title screens by just going in here and double clicking on them and you can change those to whatever you want to change those to so that's how you add charts to your keynote slideshow so I'm going to add a new slide just like that now once I add a new slide here the last thing that I'm going to show you that you can do is adding media if you want to add a picture or if you want to add a video or if you want to add a song go up here to the media tab up here and it will pull up your aperture iPhoto uh, whatever program you use to uh, get your pictures and it will all be right here within your media bar so if I want to add some movies it'll pull up the movies just like that from iMovie movie or iTunes uh, whatever program that you use to uh, format your uh, movies and audio you can go in here and add some audio straight from your iTunes account and you can do all of that directly from the media toolbar right here in the top right corner and the last thing that I'm going to show you is how to edit and format your text so uh, once we have that there the media you've already uh, done that so you don't want your media anymore what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go in here and let's say I want to edit some of my text okay so I'm going to show you how to edit your text within Keynote. So what you want to do is you'll want to select the slide and select the text in which you want to edit, okay? And so in this case, I've got my title screen here where it says Tech Guru 77, and I'm going to double click on that or I can add a text box however I want to do it, okay? It just depends on what you want to do. And you can go up here in the top right corner and select the fonts key t toolbar right here in the right and I can click on that and it will show me right here uh, a new uh, a line will be added you can actually go up here and you can change the text so I want to change that to uh, some cooler text so I want that to be a little bolder I can go ahead and add that just like that and you can do that all within the fonts tab right here within Keynote so this is just a basic overview of the tools and uh, options you have within Keynote. If you have any questions, please share them within the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It does help me out. And if you want any more tutorials on any kind of software, let me know in the comment box. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And guys, I will see you next time.